just rolled out an in-app tipping for its drivers in three cities, including Minneapolis, from servers to stylists to baristas to bellhops. We hand out over $40 million in tips each year, but tipping can be tricky. That's why financial professional Trey Peterson is with us from PreserveYourDollars.com. And I am really curious to know, I use Uber a lot, what is appropriate to tip with this new feature? Yeah, so it has three different options. It has $1, $3, or $5. We're one of three cities in the nation that they're doing this rollout with. And so you have the opportunity, instead of wondering, having that awkward moment, not knowing if you should tip, how much you should tip, it's the one, three, or five dollars. And so they keep it very simple. And should we base it on how we feel our service was? Yeah, so I think service is one of two things. Typically, it's you did a, you did a really good job, so this is a tip for that service. Mm -hmm. You know, my recommendation would be 15%, kind of no matter what the service looks like, okay. and then 20% if it's excellent. Yes, absolutely. Well, I want to know, too, there are some people that we maybe should be tipping in life who we're not tipping. Yeah. What are those professions? What should we do? So there's a couple different ones. When we think about AAA, you know, someone, you have a flat tire, they come to rescue you. Oftentimes we know they're getting paid, but a lot of people don't know that you're supposed to tip your AAA guy. Mm -hmm. And so even an extra 5 or $10 can really make a difference in the whole process, the whole service that you have with them. And then knowing that you know they're out there, they probably have several people before you. That's why mm -hmm. it, it took an hour to get to you. Yes. But that only five or ten dollars can make a big difference. Uh, another one that I see is housekeeping. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are unaware that just leaving two, three dollars, just a couple dollar tip by the bed, not only will make you know that person's day, but you'll find your rooms a little cleaner. You may have a few more towels than you would have had had you not done that, and it just makes life a little bit better. Yeah, that's a great tip when you're staying in a hotel or staying away like that. And I know some people do post workers or sanitation engineers absolutely and I, I even I think you know tips are for saying thank you you did a great job so as an example the cable guy comes mm -hmm. you know when the experts say don't necessarily tip them one two or three dollars instead ask them how would you like a glass of water would you like a lemonade and I think it's just the idea of living generously uh, coffee shop you know we talk about well, what should we tip at a coffee shop a lot mm -hmm. of people don't know I think it's very common to leave your change uh, so at a coffee shop, again, you know, if you have good service, especially if you've been going there, be a tipper so that when you go in, they're excited to see you. Well, we've got some graphics, too, of some tipping standards that we want you to go through really quickly because there's certain amounts you should tip different Absolutely. people. Drivers, you're saying. Yeah, so drivers, 15 to 20 percent, very similar with restaurants. Restaurants, we say 15 percent for lunch, 20 percent for dinner. Okay. If you're like my friends and I and you stay a little longer, you know, tip for the extra time that you're taking at that table. If you valet, you know, $2, maybe $3 if they did an excellent job. Your beautician, 15 to 20%. My wife's a hairstylist, and I know a good portion of hairstylist money comes from their tips. Yes. Um, so that 15 to 20%. And again, if you're the type of person that maybe you show up a little late, or you show up to the hairstylist and you bring your toddler, tip a little more so that instead of them seeing, hey, tomorrow I have Susan who doesn't tip well, they say, hey, look, Susan's coming in. She's a great tipper. It's going to be a good day. All right. Well, thank you so much, Trey. That's so important to remember. I mean, it really gives people a boost sometimes, lets them know if they're appreciated. It really does. Thank you for those tips. And yeah. again, your website is preserveyourdollars.com. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Thank Glad you. to have you with us.